Here's a 10 cubic foot cart. And this thing's made of tissue paper. John Deere 17P lawn dump cart. Let's see what's inside. Oh, we have hardware. We have an axle. Right there, axle. And what do we have here? Some kind of rail, not sure. We have two real tractor wheels. Nice. These are tough. have the uh, lower assembly here, holds the axle. This is not made from tinfoil. And the tongue. Nice and heavy. Yes, these are made by Brinley. The Brinley cart, this cart's about $3.99 right now at Home Depot. I think the Brindley version of this, which is black, is about $100 less. I got a great deal on this one. Found a guy that had uh, several of them on Craigslist. And I picked this up for $200. Brand new in the box. And I don't know if they're blims or what, and I don't care. Owner's manual. Oh, there we go. Exploded diagram. You shouldn't need any more than that to put it together. Shows all the hardware, assembly order. You see those rails go on the bottom, probably to spread out the load of the uh, of the axle support. Let's get it put together. Looks like we got to flip it over and work from the bottom. So the assembly's broken down into parts, and the fasteners. This is part one, part two part three, etc. All the way up to part six. So what's going on here is this wire fits around the outside of the nut. The two nuts squeeze together on the lever here and then this bolt floats. It remains loose. You can see some clearance under the head so that when we move the pedal the bolt rotates with the pedal. Next thing is the top half of the tongue. I've got a better clevis pin than this. I've been longing to see this site.
quite a bit of my load is still in here, but I didn't have to carry it all over here at least. This dump cart will handle a thousand pounds, they claim, so I don't think I'm going to hurt it hauling it full of firewood. There she is with a full load of topsoil. Still pretty sturdy. So my only grumble with this John Deere 17P cart is when you tip it back and dump it, that bevel on the back there is level with the ground, so that stuff doesn't fall out. Now the only way you could really fix that is to raise the container up by putting a spacer between the uh, axle brackets and the, uh, and the container, and then you'd get a tilting back of that, it would go back even farther. But then you'd have to shovel everything even higher to get it in the container. So I think it's probably the best comp compromise for the overall least amount of work. It's the best dump cart I have, and this is number three. The John Deere 17P is 17 cubic feet. Here's a 10 cubic foot cart. And this thing's made of tissue paper. And just to give you an idea of the size difference, there you go. So that thing's way too easy to fill up. And this thing, these sell for around $100. This is what everybody's tempted to buy. But this is basically made out of foil. Uh, the wheels are not so great, although they did come inflated. It's already got a few dents and stuff in it, and I have only carefully used this one because it's so lightly built. The John Deere, its wheels came inflated as well. Everything works perfectly on. It went together really well. Here's a Craftsman dump cart that I picked up on Craigslist for 40 bucks, And the thing dumps on its own, so I've got a uh, tie strap there. And look how this load of wood has got it all swayed out on the sides. It's actually pretty decent. It's better than the steel one that I have, but uh, nothing matches this. Of course, the price of these things is quite a bit higher, too, but you get what you pay for. What do you want? What would you like to have? What are you working for? So you can have unsatisfactory things that barely get the job done, or do you want to have good stuff? I'd rather have fewer, better things. So this has been Dave on the Crafted Channel. Uh, did a little build here on this. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, share, and subscribe. It's what keeps the channel going. Um, I'm up uh, nearing, I think, 1,600 subscribers now, and the channel's doing well. All thanks to you. We'll see you on the next video. Get your hands dirty. That's the only way to get something done. <laughs>